All right, guys, and thank you for tuning in to another Yo Spill video. So tonight, what we are going to do is actually start modifying the juke. I know I haven't done any modifications on this thing in a long time. I actually don't recall making any modification videos other than the motor mounts. And um, that was about it. I kind of did all the other bolt-ons off camera. Didn't really film anything. Didn't film the tuning process or anything. And I always get tons of questions about the juke. You know, what's done to it, what's going on with it, and why I haven't modified it more. So, we have a local autocross, I believe, on Saturday or Sunday. Um, the last autocross video, guys, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. Uh, I went on my stock wheels and my stock tires, which are a set of Bridgestones, uh, 225-45-18, with my stock Nismo wheels. Uh, if you guys go back a long time ago, when I took it to the track, you will see that I have these Ray Gram Light 57s with a set of uh, R888Rs. These are a 255, 35, 18. So I have a much wider contact patch, uh, much better tire and everything for the Juke when we actually go to a real track event or autocross, which I plan on doing, like I said, this Saturday or Sunday. But that is not what this video is about. Let me go get the thing out of the box and we'll get right into what we're actually modifying today. So as you guys can already tell, I have the rear of the juke up in the air. Uh, I have a jack underneath it and that is just to show suspension flex and everything. Because what we have right here is a discontinued ultra race rear sway bar. So I know I've never really talked too much about the rear suspension or anything in the juke in a video uh but there's two options for sway bars you can either get this ultra race or you can get a cusco the cusco is 16 millimeters and uh of course that is the size of this bar right here and then the ultra race is a 19 millimeter and uh you guys can tell this thing is nice and thick brand new in the package uh i think three years ago 2017 ish Ultra Race uh, changed their name and became something else. They actually quit producing this actual bar. Uh, so I had found somebody on one of the Juke forums that had this and, uh, you know, paid for it, got it shipped up to me, had to wait a couple of days. Uh, since we are autocrossing a lot recently, I want to make the car a lot better around the track. And uh, seeing how front wheel drive Nismos do not come with rear sway bars, uh, first mod, of course, rear sway bar. So, if you guys have never seen under the back of a juke, uh, I don't know how well you're going to see or how dark it's going to be in the video, but you have a basically trailing arm right here, but you have this vertical link in the middle. Uh, this thing already has a set of Megan coilovers, which we will be changing out sooner or later. Uh, these coilovers have around 70 or 80,000 miles on them now, so the shocks in the front are a little destroyed from the multiple track days and uh extreme driving i do but if you will literally take a jack and you place it on this side of the rear suspension and you start jacking it up which i'll do here you can see this side of the suspension will go up and you can see the spring compressing but this side of the suspension is not moving at all i can literally jack this thing Keep jacking it and it's still setting on the jack stand and you can see the angle right there versus the angle over there so you have a lot of flex in the rear suspension uh, without a without a sway bar so the ultra race sway bar is very simple we'll let the suspension down all it does is it requires two bolts that go in these holes right here and of course it runs all the way along and you put two bolts into this hole right here. So what I'm gonna do now uh, is I'm gonna actually measure measure the amount of flex this has before and after the sway bar. Uh, I won't do it on the video, or I might do it on the video and just show you guys the difference of just what the sway bar itself does. All right guys, so we have the car on two jack stands in the middle of the subframes kind of at the rear and uh it's just setting completely solid on both of those jack stands i have this wheel completely un 
pressed by a jack and I have this all the way up. I don't know if you can see, but that's 18 inches or one foot, six inches. And then now I'm going to let this jack down and then we're going to remeasure at that same exact spot and see how much flex is actually in the rear suspension without the, you know, other side moving. So that is two inches of complete flex before the car even starts picking up off the jack stand, let alone, let alone moving the other side of the suspension. So now let's get to installing the sway bar and see what we have after. So we have the ultra ray sway bar under the back of this, the juke. Uh, the cool thing about these sway bars is they actually come serial numbered and everything. Uh, and this company offers a five year a warranty for any broken welds or anything like that um, as long as you have you know your sticker and your warranty plate uh, and installation of the sway bar is very very simple so your kit will come with four of these bolts and uh, nuts and it has a set of washers and a set of lock washers and you just need to take these this is really hard to do with one hand and one on the camera but literally take them drop them down through these rear suspension holes right here and then once you get your nuts on both sides with your washers then you want to go over here and you should have a washer a lock washer and a nut uh, for both of the sides for the driver's side and for both of the sides on the passenger side so let's take this hardware and go under here and let's see if we can mount this with one hand so oh, we want to All right guys, so we have the sway bar on now and we have the car and uh, it's already picking up off the jack stand down there. Um, you can see there's a gap on the jack stand down there. Uh, I already measured this right here, my tape just fell, but it started actually picking up the car at 17 and one quarter of an inch. So that is three quarters of an inch sooner than it started picking up the car before it was at like 18 and well it was at 18 it started moving 18 and a quarter the car started actually coming up so now it's 17 and a quarter so that's a fix a, about one inch um technically doing it in this method and uh this side of the car is staying planted solidly so you have a one inch difference in rear suspension movement from side to side before the car actually starts lifting itself off the jack stand. 
Um, I have plans of going with better spring rates, a better set of coilovers, and of course, you know, the R888R tires are gonna create a better handling situation. And then I also plan on getting strut bars for the rear and the front of the car. And uh, like I said, uh, this Ultra Race bar is a very nice piece. As you saw, pretty simple to install. It helps if you have more than one hand to install it, because uh, you need to fit, basically just hold the bar up, slide the bolts through the bolt lower suspension, and then uh, you know tighten up the bar. Uh, the only thing you need is a 17 millimeter to actually tighten them up. They have lock washers and everything, so this bar should never come loose or anything like that. But now let's get to putting our R R's uh, on the front and rear of this so we can actually be ready for our autocross on, I believe it's Saturday. I might not be, I'm pretty sure it's Saturday. Uh, but now we at least have our rear sway bar um, on the juke. So we should have some you know, improvement in handling with at least one inch less of travel before the car actually starts you know, lifting up off the jack stand. So, now let's get to swapping these tires. All right guys, and the last step is going from the 225 to the 255. You guys can see the difference. This is like a 10.3 inch wide tire. That is like a 8.5 inch wide tire. So I will have much more contact patch and uh, a lot better grip. These are, I believe, 300 tread wear. Um, let me look on them. Oh, they're only 250 tread wear. Uh, those are 250 tread wear, and then these are, I believe, 80 or 100. 100. So you're going from a 240 to a 100 tread wear and about two inches more wide tire. Uh, the tire is also point uh like 1.3 inches shorter or one inch shorter or something like that um so the gearing on the juke will be a lot shorter so you'll get a lot more acceleration out of the corner the only thing that i'm hoping is that the clutch can make it through this uh autocross event and then maybe the next one that we sign up for and then i will uh get to actually adding some performance mods to this once we get the braces all set up and everything set up how i want it and uh but this is gonna be the end of the video. I already got the wheels on the back. That's what they look like. Uh, that is a 255 on the rear of a Juke with a 24 offset. These are 18 by nine and a half. So they are a really large tire and these are 18 by seven and a half. So like I said, uh, the stock wheel weighs 21.6 pounds. The gram light weighs 17.8 pounds or 18 pounds or something like that. So it's losing some weight, but it's gaining some weight with the tire. So it'll probably equal out pretty, you know, pretty much around the same weight wheel and tire wise. I don't actually have a scale on me or I weigh them for you. But if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys enjoyed the juke content, as always, leave a thumbs up on the video. If you guys haven't subscribed to Yo Spill already, click the little bell icon and uh, as always, you guys are the greatest. Until the next one.